Hello and welcome back to the Academy of the Magical Art. I am Frater Ophiel. Thanks for joining with me again today. I uh, want to apologize if there's a little bit of background noise on this video. I'm actually recording this while driving down the highway. So you might hear a muffler or an air conditioner or something along those lines. But as I was on this ride, I was thinking about something that's been coming up a lot in conversation over the last couple of days. When I start to see a pattern, um, I feel that it's necessary to share it. The topic of conversation has been that of cognitive dissonance, um, taking a polarity, looking at both sides of something, finding the middle ground, which is where the truth generally lies. We have been trained, most of us, from children that when we're told something by an authoritative figure, quote unquote, we just listen to it, swallow the pill, and carry on. You can take examples of this back from childhood. Maybe your parents said when you say, well, why? Well, because I said so. When you go to school, your teacher tells you something, and if you disagree or challenge it, you're either embarrassed in front of your entire group of peers or sent to the principal's office. This is a pattern that recurs throughout our entire lives until we're trained like little robots to just accept what we're told and move on as truth. But so much of what we're told is actually backwards. You can find many rippling examples of this just throughout our basic beliefs. Um, many men are classically trained that it is not good to express motion, emotion. It is important to operate off of logic and logic alone. But if you look from a spiritual perspective, it is important to have both. It is important to feel that emotion, to express emotion, to allow emotion. Um, that is actually what makes you stronger. We are told that if we want happiness, we have to seek it externally. We have to fit into this mold or live this kind of life or make this figure of money in order to be happy when in reality everything that we need is found within ourselves. Patterns such as this, thought forms such as this, are ingrained to us from a young age. I believe for a reason, but that's a different conversation to have. However, regardless, uh, as we progress through our spiritual journey, it is important that we learn to think critically about everything, to challenge everything, to research for ourselves, and to come to our own truth about a situation rather than just accepting it for face value. It's important to dig into things a little bit deeper and rather than just looking at the what, ask why behind it. It's all well, fine and dandy to be able to look and understand what is happening, but without understanding why it is happening, that information does us no good. And that basic principle within itself is found everywhere. If you haven't already listened to a couple of short videos on the principle of polarity. I really want to suggest that you do that just to give you a little bit more of an understanding of what I'm talking about. Everything we see has a polarity. Everything that we experience has more than one perspective way to view it or to handle it. And there's nothing that says that any of these things is wrong. But in polarizing ourselves in a way of thinking, we put ourselves in a form of bondage and we become very, very easy to control. Um, our reactions become very predictable. People who have a certain belief or a certain standpoint on a specific subject are generally very, very quick to defend it. Very oftentimes with anger rather than stepping back, listening and understanding what that other side might be. And even though our original thought might have been wrong, we're still better for the further understanding of the situation. I've talked to a couple of people recently who are struggling with the own their own personal polarities, their, their quote-unquote dark side, and learning how to balance that out and to come into harmony and peace with that aspect of themselves rather than always fighting against it and trying to run from it. And understanding yourself and an understanding what makes you tick and why you tick certain ways, you are then able to not only identify and gain a deeper understanding of certain behaviors, but also change them if you so choose to do that. 
or adapt them or transmute them into something that's more conducive to your life. Behavior is very oftentimes driven off of thought or mentality. And when we can understand why we work certain ways, we can understand why we interact with our environment certain ways and why our environment interacts with us certain ways. It causes everything to come into much more peace and harmony. So I just want to encourage you you're not already a critical thinker to strive to become more of one to be cognitively dissonant within yourself to create that polarity on everything and look at all angles of it rather than just accepting it for face value challenge your own beliefs challenge your understandings of situations by looking into it deeper and accepting that maybe the way you're looking or perceiving at something could be elaborated upon or understood more. I also want to take a minute to recommend that you take a couple moments of your time and go check out some of the pages that I'm subscribed to. There's a, a lot of really good resources on there that can help you with various different aspects of your growth. A good friend of mine uh, has a page that works a lot with planetary magic. He's been putting uh, a lot of good information forth on the different planets and their effects on us and how we can work with them. That page is uh, Tim Ravenroder. There's another one also called Mystic at the Crossroads. And Jasmine puts out a lot of good information, especially in the area of candle work. There's a couple others. Uh, such as the, uh, the Mystery School or Taliesin McKnight if you're interested in other aspects of the occult. David Snyder and RSD Tyler do a lot of really good work with uh, our thought processes and brains and uh, David Snyder does a lot with hypnosis and NLP and how to reprogram your mind. So just take a couple of moments and peruse through those, see if there's something that catches your eye and if so, dig into it a little bit deeper. Also, again, if you haven't already, uh, visit our Facebook page. We have a group called the Academy of the Magical Art. Go ahead and jump on there. And we're, uh, we're all posting stuff pretty regularly on there that can uh, assist in different aspects of our growth and study as well. So just so as a couple of extra resources for you to dive into, check those pages out. I want to thank you for joining with me again today at the Academy of the Magical Art. And until next time, blessed be.